IWC Women's Division growing month by month. And uh, we've seen the flag bearer of the Women's Division proudly defend that championship against all styles, all walks of professional wrestling life. And we have an IWC debut we're about to see. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Penelope Ford. And she is well known in the East Coast. She uh, is probably most known as the main squeeze of Joey Janela, but I understand that uh, their relationship's a bit rocky right now as a result of uh, uh, an incident a month ago over in the combat zone. But Penelope Ford, a graduate of the CCW Academy, about a three year pro, and uh, she has competed throughout CCW, their sister promoting WSU. And uh, again, one of those girls is pound for pound. She's as tough as any athlete you can make. But can she stop perhaps the biggest wave of momentum I can remember an IWC title holder having in quite some time? Rip Baker has accomplished so much in just 18 months or so. Great attitude, great athlete. The world is ahead of her. And she, uh, you know, she covets, she cherishes that IWC Women's Championship. And she has been the uh, uh, the flag bearer on. All the women that have been in and out of IWC, from uh, 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 Katie Arquette, to Mephisto, to uh, uh, Chelsea Green, Lola Van Ness, to Rachel Ellering, all these athletes that have competed for a chance this, uh, a championship, they have not done what Rick Baker has. Rick Baker succeeded. Rick Baker has thrived. Jay Worth, welcome to Bricksburg. Mighty happy to be here. Been here before, you know. I am no stranger to the Bricksburg phenomenon. Could you sound any more sarcastic about being happy to be here? Have you smelled this place? If this is what Bricksburg smells like, then maybe I'll go to Renews it though. These toothless moments. Why are you so harsh on people? People? You're counting these as people? They're not bothering you. They're, uh, you can't smell that. We're back here in the shadows. They are focused on the ring. Yeah, and not bathing. Well, I don't know how to segue from that back to the match, but be that as it may, Penelope Ford. Much like a lot of the Super Indie competitors, has a chance to put her name on the IWC map and it has not been here before, but she beats Britt Baker. She wins that women's championship. We'll just see a heck of a lot on checking the boots. Couldn't she have done that in the locker room? Well, they may have, they may have shifted. Contents may shift during travel. What contents are foot? Her foot, leg, their bones, tendons, sinew. Like she's not amorphous, like she's not an amoeba. What are you talking about? I'm saying maybe her foot was sitting wrong. Maybe the beat caught when she was getting into the ring. I don't know. Do you want to run over and ask her? Well, you're going to get hot about it. Well, you're the one asking me. Well, yeah, adjusting a boot. That's all. I think she was stalling because she's trying to uh, play mind games with Brit. Penelope is a bit more experienced than Brit, but Brit gets the side headlock takeover in. And the thing about Britt, too, is that she's not just uh, athletic, but she's also ring smart and book smart. She's got a, a, a wide array of intelligence she brings into battle, and the fact that she's always thinking, I think, is a big part of why she's attained the success that she has. Well, she did a pretty good clamp on uh, Penelope's head right now. I'm sure that's not that's not pretty good cause of it. Not in the least. Penelope trying to bridge up and does. 
and it's very proud of itself. With some flair. Roll up here for two. We've seen the vast majority of Brooke Baker's matches. Uh, if you're Penelope Ford, do you have a strategy of how you uh, solve this equation? Uh, honestly, I would probably... Uh, I don't know. I would probably go for a rope dump. Let her run around and tire herself out of it. And then look and then look to take advantage. I mean I am an excellent chip. So. Something like that. As we take a look at the running chin lock from Britt, shades of perhaps something we'd seen a little bit ago. I wonder where she learned it. Her wind she learned. And check that out, modified sling blade by Britt Baker. Hook of both legs. That's one of those uh, subtle things, hooking both legs, that you, you really take for granted or sometimes overlook, but it can make a big difference sometimes. Here's the weight, uh, the, the weight up over the shoulders gets that center of gravity adjusted, so it's harder to kick out. And Penelope Ford is as clear on the outside of the ring at this point. Oh. Those, uh, those guardrails have no good. Yeah, it was either the knee or the entire leg of Brit. It just violently crashed into the guardrail. See, I was thinking, uh, ankle. Could be. We don't have the best vantage point. For we don't, but either way, the bottom line is that uh, Brit's mobility and her balance is going to be very compromised moving forward. And Penelope taking, uh, taking advantage of that. If, if a target does not present itself to you, create one. Our strategy without a doubt. And you can see Britt is very gingerly moving on that leg. Not sure the extent of the damage at this point. Whatever it is, Penelope Ford certainly opening to worse at. Moving back for a second. Oh. Knee and attack uh, right to the knee, the elbow, coming right down, uh, right above the patella. Yeah, Bricksburg is going through some property damage. <laughs> you notice Britt is slow to get to her feet and, and not even in a fighting stance. She had her back turned to Penelope, oh. which is generally a big mistake, but just that knee is running so much space in her head, the knee, the ankle, whatever it may be. Uh, so much damage has been done, and Penelope Ford, I think, may sense that we may have a new IWC Women's Champion. She can't even cross the ring at this point. Can't keep her balance. Breathing is an issue right now, thanks to these chops. And all Penelope Ford at this point in time. Oh. Oh, Brick counters. Three good chops in there. Looks like that knee sort of tweaked on her. Oh, and a kick to the knee. Oh, gosh. Overhead stop. Straight down vertically. Oh, that's smart. Without a doubt. Ooh. Still choking on my pizza. Why did you eat that? Why did you eat it so fast? You knew that was going to be a long match. She's a Janelle and Cole beating the hell out of each other. Okay. Uh, well, talk about two athletes beating the hell out of each other. Just forearms right there, right into the ribs, right into the chest. Yeah, this is physical as any match we've seen. Four to step ahead, but Britt meets her with a back elbow. You can tell Britt's still working gingerly on that leg. What is, what is that in the room? Is that hair? Why would we have made its way in? Yeah, this thing's really getting physical. I'm not sure where or whom that came from, but uh, damage was done. I would say the uh, leading contender as to where that came from was probably uh, something. Now ask me questions. Inside Cradle! It looks like, oh, it looked like Britt's shoulders were down that time. Have to count away from the new champion. It might have been, uh, she may have released it just knowing that she was in a predicament herself. Ooh. Oh, Britt got that super kick. Penelope is... Oh, near fall. Penelope's in a bad way right now. She just took a kick to the mush. Britt, 
Yeah, I was just going to say, let me kick you in the mush and see how well you are after that. No, I'd rather you not. Oh, come here. Get away from me. Great resolve by Britt Baker to fight through the pain. Although Penelope forward to her feet now, pressing the advantage. Nicely done, the DDT. <laughs> and Hazard. And she's not handling that news. She figured it would be over by now. She'd already be IWC uh, Women's Champion. And she still could be before it's all said and done. Not if you get uh, lippy with the official. Oh, nice. Standing moonsault. Could this be all? Ford left the shoulders exposed. Textbook standing moonsault. That was, was downright party. Without a doubt. Now Britt Baker trying to pull herself back up to her feet. Looks like Penelope lost track of her there for a second. But now coming, coming in with a... Is that a cartwheel floor? A front flip floor? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's really nowhere else to put it as uh, Britt in a bad way at this point. Trying to struggle to her feet, struggle to get her balance. Now uh, a couple revolutions, but Britt counters. German suplex nicely done. Just dumped her right in, the, right in the back of her head and shoulder area. Can Britt capitalize? Famous or connects? Britt got her though. I thought it was a famous. That's what Mark Madden said. <laughs> we'll, we'll square it all away after the broadcast, but... Brooke Baker and Penelope Ford have put it all on the line here. An amazingly competitive contest. It's crunch time in this contest. Uh, she has Brooke Baker having trouble walking and Penelope Ford having trouble recovering. Something's got to give women's championship at stake. It's up to their feet now. There we go. What a boot to the head. Springboard into a cutter. And Britt is down. I don't know if Ford got all of that, but she certainly wrenched Britt down to the canvas hard. And now Ford taking the time to pose. Oh, and Britt just barely gets the foot or gets the uh, hand, excuse me, on that bottom rope. That's a hand. It is a hand. But she broke the, uh, the plane of the rope, and that broke the count. Did she just? Pluck an eye, uh, eyebrow off of her? I think so. Eyelash? Either that or the got your nose game got pretty scary. Britt with a forearm to the front. Mayor of Britsburg unloading. There's a credenza. Is that going to do it? No. And now into a submission. A Britt Baker specialty. There's modified rings of Saturn. Will this do it? And that's it! Penelope had no choice. <laughs> Rick Baker turns away another very formidable challenge. Another young athlete that has proven herself in multiple high-profile organizations. But she comes to IWC and she can't stop the momentum of Pittsburgh. Rick Baker victorious again. Jay Worth, what's it going to take for somebody to unseat Rick Baker as the leader of the women's division in IWC? I was going to say, we seem to be running out of challengers. Though at the rate Rick Baker seems to tear through them. Who's going to be the person to finally step up and take that strike? And Rick Baker, whoever it is, she's up for the challenge. But still more chip to action to come because we are guaranteed a new Super Indy champion here as part of Super Indy 16.